Today, we'll be taking a look at diagnostic mode on this Whirlpool electric range. Be sure to visit appliancevideo.com where you will find thousands of repair videos on the latest technology. And for a limited time, you can save big on an annual membership and take advantage of all of our premium benefits. Appliancevideo.com. Do it right the first time. To enter diagnostics, we need to press a certain sequence of buttons. We'll press cancel, cancel, start. And then it's gonna pop up and show TST. This is our test mode. Now, the first thing I'm going to show you before we go into the test mode is how to scroll through different portions of diagnostics. Now, in order to go to the next step, we'll simply press the arrows up or down. The first thing I'm going to show you is the oven sensor. This is just going to indicate the temperature of the actual sensor. So if you are baking and it's not reading accurately, make sure you go into this portion of diagnostics. The next portion here, this is just gonna be the offset for the customer. You can program this plus or minus 30 degrees and this is what's gonna tell you what the offset is that it's programmed to at the time. Now the next few that we're gonna go through are software versions. You won't have to mess with that. But at this portion, this says okay. Now this is where it's gonna show any type of error codes that are in the system. Currently, there are no error codes in it. But a couple of the common error codes you may find could be an F1 indicating a problem with the board, an F2 indicating a problem with the UI. You could be having a sensor error with an F3, a door latch error with an F5, or you could have something like an F6 indicating that the temperature sensor is actually over temperature when it is running. Now, if you do have error codes in order to clear them, you simply press start here. Now we'll go through the next portion of it. Now this is gonna indicate the accumulated days of operation prior to the error code. This is gonna indicate the actual total accumulated days of operation. And of course, the last portion here is the latch and door switch state. Now the next function we're going to cover is the actual test function. Now when it shows TST on the actual screen, in order to test different components, you'll actually press the button depending on what it says inside the manual. So if you want to test bake, press bake. You'll see that it comes up on the control here, and this is going to energize the bake element. You can press broil, and this will come up as broil on the top, and this will energize the broil element. You could press things such as clean that cycles the latch motor. You can do something like pressing the oven light. This is gonna turn the oven light on or off. If you press the timer button here, this is going to turn all the lights on on your display. So if you are having problems with your display, this is a great way to look at it. And of course, the start button is just going to indicate the audible tone. And to exit diagnostics, you simply press the cancel button and this will complete diagnostics. Thank you for watching another quality video from appliancevideo.com. If you found this video helpful, make sure you click the like and subscribe to our channel.